guys it is your boy will back with another video today hope you guys are doing good in this video i'll be talking about three stocks that can explode tomorrow one stock is a reversal play and the other stock will be normal levels okay so make sure you guys smash that like button i'll be giving you guys a buying level where i'm looking to buy resistance level where i'm looking to sell and also support levels where i'm looking to have price hold now, with one of these stocks, I'll be doing shares and options, okay? So I'll be doing both with one of these stocks, so stay tuned. Subscribe, try and get to 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and make sure you share the video out to your friends and family so we can spread that knowledge. So the first one I'll be talking about today is Pins, Pinterest, ticker symbol P-I-N-S, ticker symbol P-I-N-S. This is the reversal play, okay? They had a huge run up because they supposedly had a deal with PayPal, I believe. And then PayPal said, no, we don't have no deal. So they dropped harder, okay? They went all the way up to like 60 something from around that 50 range and they just dropped. So what I'm looking for, I'm looking for a reversal. Pins, Pinterest is actually a good company. If you haven't used Pins, it's actually pretty good. So I don't have a problem trying to play a reversal. So key levels that I'm looking at for a reversal, for a sign of reversal, First, I'm looking for around 46.50, okay? This level, we're going to need this level to pass, okay? Once this 46.50 level passes through, so price passes through this level, then I'm looking at that level for a buying level, okay? So it needs to pass it, and then it needs to come back to it to show buying pressure. Once it passes it, boom, it's active. Then it comes out to it, boom, we enter. OK, that's how that level is going to be active. So the next level that I'm kind of looking out for first for options, I'll be exiting options around forty nine. OK, around forty nine fifty. That's when I'll be exiting um, some options. For the shares, I'll hold a little bit longer, but for options, I'll be exiting around that forty nine fifty area. OK. So around 46.5 to 49.50, this is the options play that I'm looking for. For shares, I'm getting in around 46.50 if there's confirmation. And then I'm going to take this up all the way to around 52.53. So I'll put it at 52 just to be on the lower side. Okay. So for shares, we're looking at a potential gain of about 11, 12% gain. And then for options, it'll be way more than 6%. Okay, probably looking at about 40 to 50% on the options. Okay, so I'm doing both on this one. Again, we just need to make sure we get that confirmation around that 4650 area. Second stock, I've had a lot of questions about this one. Rad Waiter Holdings, ticker symbol WTRH. Ticker symbol WTRH. Now, with this one, this is a penny stock, so just make sure you watch your risk management. Try not to go too heavy. Just in case it drops hard, it won't hurt your portfolio, okay? With this one, it has been on a nice little uptrend, which does make it a little easier to try to play, okay? But what I want to see is I want to see some pullback because I want to exit at 2, okay? So 2 is the uh, exit that I'm looking at right now and a resistance level that can possibly come in the markets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little thicker. So two is what I'm looking at for that resistance to come in. Okay. And then for buying, I want to buy at $1.65 to $1.70. Okay. If it can get in that area and start showing buying pressure, then I'll be going heavy for a nice scalp play. Okay. Because $165 to $2, that's about a 20% scalp play. Very, very nice gain. Usually my minimum is 10%. So I'll be very happy with 20%. But we need that buying pressure around that $1.65 area. Okay. That's the first thing we need. So if it doesn't confirm there, I really won't be entering. Okay. But these are the main two levels I'm looking for right now. Again, it can go higher than this $2 mark. But I like to just take my profits and then look for the next entry instead of hoping and wishing it takes off, okay? Knowing your entry, knowing your exit is very important. And the last stock is M phase, okay? Micro vision, ticker symbol M-V-I-S. Ticker symbol M-V-I-S. 
So make sure you guys join the buy and sell signals group. There's a link in the description, pin in the comments. If you want to know what I'm buying and selling for options and shares, make sure you use code OWILAPTC because a code is required. And also make sure you get the stock market options crash course. Make sure you use will 50 off to get $50 off the stock market options crash course before those prices go up. Okay. Prices will be going up, so make sure you get that. It teaches you how to trade in bearish markets, bullish markets, day trades, swing trade, options to pick, options not to pick. Very, very key, okay? So make sure you check that out. Link in the description is also pinned in the comments. So the levels I'm looking at for Microsoft, Microsoft is on a downtrend, okay? So any stock that's on a downtrend, you want to get in and you want to get out unless you see something where the stock is just going to keep going higher. You really want to get in and you want to get out, okay? So a level that I'm looking at right now um, on Enphase for a buying level is actually where it is now. So around like $8.30. So right at open, you're going to want to watch this one a little closely because if we get that buying pressure right at open, I will, I will probably enter within the first uh, 30 minutes or so. Okay. So buying level right around $8.30. And then for an exit, first you want to know there's a resistance around like 880. So we need to put that on there first right here. Because I don't think this will be a total 10% gain. So let's check this real quick. So yeah, only about a 6% gain. But I do see it potentially going up to 950. Okay. So once it, let me write this first then. So 950 right here, okay? I see it going here. This is my ultimate exit target. So when it comes up to around this 880 level and we see a little resistance, I might double the position if that selling pressure isn't too strong, okay? If the selling pressure isn't too strong, I'll double the position here to take us up to that 950 and still get about, doo -doo -doo. still get about a 14, 15% scalp play. OK, that's kind of how I'm playing micro vision tomorrow because it's at the key level already and I am expecting some push. OK, I'm expecting some push. I don't expect it to go to twenty dollars, but I am expecting it to push where we can get a nice play in. OK, so that's the main three levels I'm watching for right now on micro vision ticker symbol MVIS. Hope you guys like the video. Remember to get the buy and sell signals group link down below. Make sure you use will 50 off for the stock market options crash course very very informative then always remember not just a recommendation to buy or sell anything this is for educational purposes only so do not trade anything you see or hear in the videos and i will catch you guys in the next one bye